Hello once again, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. In this video, I will discuss with you the differences between solid state hard drives and conventional hard drives with moving parts. I would estimate that most computing systems today are using conventional SATA or serial ATA hard drives which have moving platters within them. Solid state hard drives have no moving parts, they contain no platters, and it is very similar in comparison to a USB flash drive being installed directly into your computer into a serial ATA port. Uh, solid state hard drives can be configured in a RAID configuration just like regular hard drives which is a random array of independent disks and what they are capable of as far as performance and reliability is unbelievable in comparison to a standard serial ATA conventional hard drive. In this, uh, in this demonstration we actually are looking at four 128 gigabyte crucial ser uh, solid state hard drives um, uh, in comparison to one Seagate Barracuda 1.5 terabyte hard drive. Uh, this is a 7200 RPM hard drive. It's a conventional hard drive you can buy anywhere. And we will compare uh, through benchmarking with the program HTTAC, which a freeware version exists for non commercial evaluation use. Um, we will evaluate uh, this hardware. And what you will see will amaze you in the differential performance. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run quick benchmarks of both storage devices. And we will run the test first on the... actually we'll run it on the... Uh, the... Uh, God damn it, what the hell is the name of that drive? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's uh, the uh, Seagate Barracuda. Yeah, I almost forgot what it was, it's so slow. All right, let's try it out. <laughs> sorry, Seagate. All right, here we go. So we're testing the burst speed, and what the burst speed really uh, does is uh, it's just basically uh, the output of data as quickly as possible uh, writing out the CPU tests uh, test the strenuous activity that the hard drive is placing on the processor itself. A random access test is a test randomly of data, different types of data, all sorts randomly uh, that can't be predicted by the hard drive. And a sequential test is data that is one after the other. It's a sequential, like if you're watching a movie that's really long, a DVD or something like that that's copied to your hard drive. Now what we'll notice here with the Seagate Barracuda drive is that it's using, eh, you know, we get up there with this, we're getting about average read 83.1 megabytes per second average read and we're not beating out a SCSI drive obviously. We're a little better than the uh, Serial ATA 150 because we're using SATA 2.0 and we're not using SATA 1.5 but uh, yeah uh, it, it's a conventional hard drive and it's uh, consistent it's conventional random access time of 15.2 milliseconds CPU utilization of 6% and you know we, we'll look at that now and, and we'll see what the big difference is uh, when we try out the solid state hard drives Okay, so we'll head over here to our rated solid state hard drives in a RAID 0 configuration. And we will run the test again and see what we get here. Prepare to be amazed. And of course we are doing the burst test, the CPU test, the random access test, and the sequential read test. By the way, this video is recorded live, so if you hear me um, using expletives and so on and so forth, I do apologize, but uh, sometimes time constraints prevent us from properly editing video. Alright, so this is quite amazing. Uh, our average read speed here is 567 megabytes per second. That is in comparison to what did we have before, about 80 megabytes per second. The burst speed is 2 1998.7 megabytes per second. It dwarfs any SCSI drive in comparison, which on servers cost are usually charged by uh, 
IT consulting companies they usually charge what like a thousand dollars a drive for these well you can buy a crucial solid state hard drive for about three hundred and fifty dollars and you can raid them uh, and you'll get much better performance um, the this is dwarfing the power of a regular hard drive it's completely using about 10 times less electricity uh, the random access speed is something like a hundred times less instead of 15 milliseconds we're looking at 0 0.1 0 0.1 being the lowest number that this benchmarking software can produce it can't you know it's probably less than 0 0.1 milliseconds so the CPU utilization is a little bit higher but it's variable every time you run this test it's different but the average read speed of 567 megabytes per second and the burst speed which is significantly faster is just unbelievable it just dwarfs a, a standard hard drive in comparison and one of the great uh, things again about a solid state hard drive is the fact that it has no moving parts whatsoever there's no danger of the hard drive mechanically failing because platters are uh, stalling or some magnetic inter resonance interference has damaged the drive or you knocked your computer over and, and screwed up your hard drive it's just they're shock resistant they have no moving parts they generate almost no heat so you don't have to worry about overheating your system and they are amazingly faster. I mean, if we put four Seagate Barracuda drives into a RAID, it would be a fair benchmark, but you'd get kind of the same results. It would never match up to a solid state hard drive. And what we really have is a performance improvement that is going to change computing forever. If you're talking about improving the speed of your computer hardware wise there are three factors major factors that you need to look at currently today as of 2010 the number one factor is the hard drive the second is the memory and the third is the processor if you are not using DDR3 memory you should consider upgrading your motherboard or making sure you're using DDR3 and not DDR2 memory you should check out your processor make sure it's at least a dual core processor but at the very least you should look into a solid state hard drive for your computer it will almost definitely never fail you uh, it is consistently time and time again now better than a conventional hard drive which I would say 95% of all computers are using conventional hard drive well currently laptops are now being outfitted higher end laptops with solid state drives and the crucial drives are really great there's uh, some ones from Intel that are supposed to be even better with performance so take a look at solid state drives as a major alternative to uh, conventional hard drives that just you you can't beat it I mean you're looking at this right now 2998.7 megabytes per second burst speed versus what did we have before let's just check again we had we had almost 3000 megabytes per second burst speed what are we getting on this uh, slow Seagate Barracuda drive that can't match up at all and could probably fail any minute let's check it out one more time and see for our viewers here this is unbelievable. Remember, burst speed was 3,000 megabytes per second. 3,000 megabytes per second burst speed. That translates into exactly the speed that's coming into your system as you're using it. As you're accessing files, it's being bursted to you. When you're watching a movie or a video, that 3,000 megabytes per second is being bursted to you. Do you know why it's stuck at 3,000 megabytes per second? It can't surpass 3,000 megabytes per second because SATA two uh, does have a limitation but check this out 284.6 megabytes per second versus 3000 it's unbelievable a solid this solid state configuration of four 128 gigabyte solid state hard drives is 10 times faster than a conventional hard drive so the next time you're thinking about building a computer or purchasing one forget about a conventional drive don't even think about it as an option forget that they exist it's not even worth it um, if these uh, conventional hard drive companies do not start uh, 
building solid state hard drives like the memory manufacturers are, they are going to go out of business. Thank you for watching this video. Please check us out at windows7forums.com. Solid state hard drives are here. They are not the future. They are here now. And they will speed up your computer by 10 times exponentially faster, make your computer 10 times faster as far as usability. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out windows7forums.com. We look forward to seeing you on the site. Take care.